All right, here we go. Literally. Now, in keeping with the uh, well, the name of the week, the theme that we're we're attributing um, to the the level of challenge and anxiety we've been experiencing trying to gain meaningful access to these amplifier innards. If you want to access the entirety of this particular chassis, uh, the faceplate um, and its associated wiring will need to be swung out of the way. And how do you do that with these two small Two small machine screws on either side, located there in this little recessed bit here, and then over here on this side. So um, I will get that moved out of the way and then return to you guys. I don't Bye. particularly find that my little camera rig is all that suited towards this type of overhead shot. So I usually give you guys a three quarter shot from the side. I leave these to Brad and Lyle and the other guys who have much better budgets for equipment or who who believe in themselves enough to invest in that way. So let's see what we're dealing with and I guess we'll do this together, won't we? I need to move this out of the way regardless of the issue because I'm replacing that power cord and I need to service these pots and then see what other Electrolytics might be lying beneath. So let's see what happens. Okay, well, that's not so bad, is it? No, it's not. Nice. Look at that old dusty light bulb. Or is it diffuse on purpose? It appears to be. It has a plastic... This bulb is plastic. <laughs> the, the envelope of this bulb is plastic. Never seen anything like that on a bayonet type bulb. But awesome, we have easy access to the uh, the pots and the jacks and we'll take advantage of that while we're here. And the construction is conducive to servicing um, as, as boxes typically are. And I do appreciate that this one's not uh, so convolutedly laid out as to have a, you know, a three dimensional structure where you have you know, the power supply on one side, preamp on another side, and then other, uh, then other wiring bits on a third side. So 